New tonight, Pennsylvania state prisons are on lockdown after employees at 10 prisons were exposed to an unidentified substance. The state says 29 employees have become sick since August 6th. They believe some of the cases involve a liquid synthetic drug. It is not clear if these cases are related, and it does come just hours after more than two dozen people became sick at an Ohio prison. Doctors believe exposure to fentanyl is to blame. Now, this happened at the Ross Correctional Institution in Chillicothe. The Ohio State Patrol says 28 people, including 27 prison staffers, were treated on the scene. Some of them had to be taken to the hospital for evaluation. Most of them have already been released. Investigators are still trying to figure out what caused this to happen and how that drug got behind prison walls. So this got us wondering, how do our local doctors get ready for situations like these? Nine on your side's Ashley Zilka spoke with UC doctors to find out. Ashley. Tanya, doctors here at UC Hospital tell me in cases like this, their training kicks into gear. The first thing is we have to make sure that the hospital itself and that the providers and the current patients are safe. As the opioid crisis rocks the country, hospitals prepare for the worst. A drug exposure at Ross Correctional Institution sent more than two dozen people to Adena Regional Medical Center. In that scenario, it could happen anywhere. If you contaminate an emergency department, then you've taken a major resource away from the community. We spoke with Dr. Dustin Calhoun at UC Medical Center about the incident. Particularly when you're talking about large volumes of patients, um, it's all about managing to make very efficient your actions um, so that every patient gets taken care of to the extent that they need. Dr. Kirk Tucker at Adina said fentanyl is their best guess for the widespread illness. The uh, physician leading the charge actually had a ventilator hood with a filter and pump on his back and he met folks at the door and then as they were brought back uh, all the nursing staff and physicians were required to uh, put on gowns, shoe and pant covers, masks, eye protection. State health officials delivered hundreds of doses of Narcan. Narcan, a drug that Dr. Calhoun says Cincinnati has on hand. There is a lot of Narcan in this region thanks to the, uh, the public health, the, the health departments, the law enforcement agencies, the EMS agencies and all the hospitals. Doctors at Adena were decontaminated before they left the ER to go home. Dr. Tucker called it a three shower practice. Right now, it's unclear how people at the prison were exposed to this drug. Reporting live, Ashley Zilka, not on your side. Ashley, thank you for the update there.